Hello my friend, it's Rob here from youronlinerevenue.com Today we are going to talk about Monero XMR and I'm going to show you how you can store your Monero cryptocurrencies safely If you are interested in Monero, I've also written this full Monero review on my website Is Monero a good investment? What is the value of Monero? It's almost 2000 words, so it's very comprehensive and exp it explains pretty much all about Monero Okay, but in this video we are going to take a look at storing Monero So watch this video all the way through but Before we run into details, if you enjoy cryptocurrencies, if you like Monero Smash up the likes, also subscribe to my channel So you will learn more about cryptocurrencies, making money with them and other interesting things Okay, so there are basically a few ways to store Monero uh, One of the common ways is of course buying Monero on exchange like Binance and then just holding it there And if you want to buy Monero on Binance, I have written a full Binance review I will leave your link below and you can buy it easily there However, many people say that storing your cryptocurrencies in, a, in an exchange isn't so safe because if the cryptocurrency exchange crashes, if they go to bankruptcy, if something unexpected happens, your currencies, your money is in danger. And the same can happen also with Monero. So let's say that if you are holding a small amount of Monero, holding it on Binance, it's fine. Okay, you have some risk, but not it's, if it's just little money, it's okay. And of course, wherever you hold your Monero, there is always a risk. Like if you hold a, in a paper wallet, you may lose the paper. If you hold in a hardware wallet, everything, and you can lose your private key, like uh, your house can burn or you throw the paper to the toilet or somebody takes a picture of it. So there is always a risk in holding any currency. Even though you would be holding cash like euros or dollars, anything can happen. Rats can eat it or some of your friend may stall or stranger can steal or uh, anything can happen. So that's why you need to always just allocate, diversify your funds in many places. Okay, by, this is one way to hold Monero. Uh, MyMonero.com, they say the simple, simplest way to use Monero. And here you can easily create an account. Uh, by the way, this is not sponsored video. I just used this myself to hold my Monero and I found it very useful. So you can here easily create an account. They give you a private key and you need to write it down, down on a piece of paper. Don't lose that piece of paper because if you lose it, you may lose all your funds. And you write the private key there. Then you can easily log in here. So when you have your private key or you can log in with your public key. But they say here that uh, understand the risks in using My Monero. My Monero is a web-based interface that allows you to use Monero without running a full Monero node. However, because the, this convenience comes at a cost, it is extremely difficult for My Monero to securely deliver its code to your browser. This means that there is a considerable risk in using My Monero for large amounts. It is recommended that you treat my Monero as you would treat your actual wallet and not store very large amount in it. For long-term storage of Monero, you should create a cold wallet using Monero address or similar. So, I'm not uh, holding huge amount of Monero, but I still I'm still holding it for long term maybe for 5 years who knows. So I decided to create an account through moneroaddress.org and here you can have your address right away but now when it's on your browser when you are online it may may be may not be the most secure so you want to click here uh, leave the page and then it takes you to another page where you can get your private keys uh, safely and your own monero wallet so click here Monero wallet generator and then it takes you again to another page 
where you can create or download, clone or download your Monero wallets. So you click here, download chip. It downloads your Monero file, Monero wallet generator master. You click here, and, and this is at this stage you go offline, you close the internet that nobody can access this. And you then you double click this one, and it opens you the Monero wallet. So now you are off, now you should be offline. Now I'm online because I'm recording this video for you, but while you are doing this, you should be offline. And it again takes you to the same page offline wallet generator. You click here, generate wallet, and then you have private, seed, private keys and seed here, and public address also. Uh, save this. This is the information is only for public. This is a public key, and these you should only keep for yourself. So write this down on a piece of paper. Hold the paper in a very safe place because if you lose the paper, you lose your Monero uh, once you have uh, sent your money to your address. So write this down, it's 25 words for Monero and write also down your private keys. It's like you can have this or this or you can have both. I prefer having both because then it's easier to access and you have like two copies. So write this down, then you have a Monero wallet. And you can access your Monero wallet on different places, but again, uh, this is like probably the easiest, like beginner friendly uh, way to access Monero is through this one, the simplest way to use Monero. But as they said, there are risks also in this one. And you can here log in, you can log in with public key. Let me show you also. If you have this one, you can log in there with, you just put this code there then you take you, sh you should not do this but I'm just showing you as an example because so you understand how this works so you can log in to my Monero account uh, invalid view key okay I put it in the wrong let's put it again in the right way you should always be careful with these ones spent key spent key and you key enter my account uh, don't import transactions okay so you here you can see your uh, monero account and here you can copy your address public key you can send you can receive easily and this is like very beginner friendly as you can see and here for example receive you go to binance or wherever you are wherever you have your Moneros, you just click here, copy address, copy, then put it to Binance and send funds and it's there. And you have your Monero in your private wallet. So even if Binance goes to bankruptcy, which is very unlikely, you will still have your Monero. And of course, I recommend in the long run holding most of your cryptocurrencies uh, in your own wallets because a cryptocurrency exchange, there are just banks and if something happens to them, then uh, you lose your money. Another point it, is that the whole idea of these cryptocurrencies is that we don't need intermediary, we don't need third parties uh, for exchanging money. So what's the point of using cryptocurrencies if you are still using banks all the time? That's also one question to ask. So this is the way to use Monero. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I will be more than happy to help you out as always. Uh, take a look at my full Monero review on my website. And also if you want to know more about Binance, the biggest and the, probably the best crypto exchange in the world at the moment, I also leave you a link below. So, what do you think about Monero? How do you store your Monero? Hit me a comment below if you found this video helpful and valuable. Smash up the likes, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day.